As you're settling into binge watch the new season of your favorite show, you're probably not considering what it does to your brain. But maybe you should be. So binge watching is defined as watching three or more episodes in a single setting. But it becomes bad for us as humans when it starts to take us away from things that we should be doing normally, like exercising, socializing with friends, sleeping. We've all been there. It's late, really late. But one more episode can't hurt, right? Sleep is an extremely important part of our life. We do it every night, or we should at least. We never really understood sleep in the past, but now we're understanding it more as an essential function for brain development and for maintaining our cognition. We believe that when we sleep, we consolidate memories, which allows us to be better the next day. For most of us, the chances of hitting our daily stand and step goals drop significantly when we binge watch. We don't even have to get up to find the remote between episodes anymore. Thanks, autoplay. If we're sitting on a couch for hours on end, we're not exercising. We used to think that exercising was to get extra points in how we felt, to look good, to feel good. We're realizing now that if we don't exercise, that we're actually hurting ourselves. Our bodies were meant for activity. The more we move, actually, we can actually help to improve our intelligence, our memory, our, our reasoning. Sometimes laughing along with TV characters feels easier and more enjoyable than putting effort into our real relationships. But this can't be good for us, can it? If we're binge watching and we're by ourselves, we're losing social interactions. And that's another important pillar of, of how our brains stay healthy is social interaction. If you're watching it for four, five, six hours, that's six hours of not interacting with your friends, your family, and that can be another problem that could lead to depression and other problems in that case. So does all of this mean we should stop binge watching? Binge watching itself is not bad, it's just when it starts to replace activities that we should normally be doing. With binge watching, lots of things can go into how it can negatively affect us. We're sedentary, we may be socially isolated. If we're binge watching at nighttime, we're disrupting sleep. It's all about recognizing where does this particular activity fit in your lifestyle and making sure that it's bringing positive things to you versus negative.